did not actually think about the fact that the fireflies slow me down too. Oh, what the? Sick. Hi, my name is KK, and today we are doing the Javamatic right now. Let's go. No, we're not actually. We do need to build some defenses around it first. And I did get started. As you can see, I have done one layer of ash walls around all three of these things. And then burr floors on top. So this is all that I'm going to do with ash because... I think I only have 11 ash cement left, and that's a lot of time to take to grind to do like a whole defense with it because those charcoals take a really long time to respond. It feels like they don't respond at all. Also, I was extremely pleasantly surprised to find out you can build through these wires, but I don't think that was a thing last time I've done this. If it was, I completely missed out on that and I wasted a lot of time trying to build around it, but it was nice. It made the building a lot easier and obviously it's a lot more concealed than doing like angled walls around it. As far as the rest of this build's gonna go, I am gonna layer out, kind of like I did with the last uh, mixer with the mosquitoes. So I was initially wanting to do four layers around each of these just to be safe in case uh, they kind of target one and I can't get to it and they break through a lot of walls, uh, which is again why I'm doing the uh, ash wall as the last one, because if they do get that far, that way I have a little bit of stronger defense right there at the end. But I've, I'm running into an issue. Right now, what I have is just the walls wrapped around this in one layer, and then the half wall staggered through here to make a little grid. And this is already requiring 238. That is almost seven stacks of brick, and I think I only have about 30. I have been toasting and some up in the oven over there, but uh, it's gonna take a lot of time. Needless to say, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get four layers around all three of these. So next thing I wanna do is go ahead and get this uh, second layer around these two as well and see how many bricks that it's actually gonna require so I can do a little bit of math and see where I actually stand on this. All right, got the second layers blueprinted out around uh, these two as well and we need, God, 714 bricks. That's about 20 and a half stacks. Wow, yes, that's like two thirds already gone. Wow, I don't know if that got picked up, but it just started thundering. At first I thought it was in the game. I was like, whoa, they added thunder, that's awesome. So I've been having two ovens going and I don't think this is gonna be enough. Wow, it is now pouring here. I thought we were done with the storms, but I do have four ovens going now. Uh, these will be temporary. I'll break them down once I'm done with this because I don't I don't like how that looks. I'm actually going to go ahead and farm up a bunch of burrs as well while I've got these four things going. I hope that's being picked up. That's rain. That rain is crazy. Yes! Finally got the fungal charm! A pretty growth of fungus that seems to want to protect you from harm. Gives you explosive resist. Gathering burrs is such a task. I got 31, 35, 70, 101. I got 101. So hopefully 101 is enough to get everything done that I want to get done. Oops, well, I brought back more weed stems than I can store right now. Four furnaces is making quite a bit of progress. I guess. Uh, definitely much faster than two. Double, you could say. But I'm gonna take what I need. What did I say I need 20 stacks? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I didn't think about the fact that I can't get up here. So I am gonna have to build stairs for each of these. Ooh, that's just the first one done. My finger's tired already. <sighs> two down. Ooh, that's the third one. The second layer of all these done. Still need to go at least one more. Ow. And for the floor of this layer, I am just gonna do grass planks. It's Obviously not the strongest, it's pretty weak, but I don't really want to take the time to try and bring a bunch of weed stems over here. There's just a lot of grass around. And then I don't think I have enough burrs to do all these burr floors. Well, that's all three of them topped. Building for this is so tedious because I have to do this again for the third layer and it will be the final layer even if I had enough materials because I'm already getting tired of building. So now is where I figure out how much uh, I'm actually gonna need. So I'm just gonna do one of these and I'm just gonna multiply by three because it should be relatively close. And the reason I go so hardcore with uh, protecting the top of this is because the mosquitoes are just really elusive and I'm just worried that I'm not gonna be able to get to them in time or I'm not gonna see them or think about them and they're gonna break through. And once they break through from the top, that is really difficult to, uh, to recover from. First one mapped out, looking at a lot of blue here, especially here at night, it gets really bright for some reason, these blueprints. But we need 568 for just one of them. So, uh, hold on, calculator. We are going to do 568 times three. That gives us 
1,704 mushroom bricks that we need. So that is roughly 50, 49 stacks maybe of mushroom bricks. That is insane. I definitely don't have that many. So, oh, but now the rough part is to repeat this on this one over here too. And that one. This would be nowhere near as complicated to do if you could hold and build these half walls, but you can't. Even being able to hold to build these would be a significant improvement as far as time management goes for this. Also, I've been thinking ahead here and I've been pushing these walls up into the gap to kind of fill out that grid completely for the places that need it. Oh, and that's the third one done. I did go ahead and lay out the uh, burr floors across the top of all three of these. And that brings us to a total of 240. I definitely don't have that. I'm gonna have to do some serious farming to catch up to that. I do believe I have 120 lint rope. I may go ahead and farm some more lint while I'm right here next to the undershed because there's a lot of lint down there. 1,742, I think I said 1,704. So, not far off, like just a stack off a little more than. But of course, this isn't going to be the end of it. I do have a lot more to build. You got to build like walls and stuff to block off that. I'm considering skipping it. I may just do spike strips, like do a series of spike strips there. Or you know what? Just out of thought. I may just do palisade walls in these trenches because there's a lot of burrs out here that I can collect. And then that way I just have the weed stems right here. I can bring them back and throw them down. All right, double layered the uh, palisade walls on the four like trench entrances, entrances back there, that one there, this one right there. And then there's one more right there. They don't only come from those locations. Obviously the mosquitoes come through the air, but I think they come from the ground up here as well. Oh, this grind is ridiculous. I have everything I need except for the mushroom bricks. I could just double up my ovens again and make it go a little bit faster. So I actually made a mistake by placing these uh, burr floor blueprints first. I guess I couldn't see anything in here that I was doing. So I had to remove them all. And that means I got to remove them all on those two just to be able to get to this. Oh, ho, 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 you hear that satisfying ting? That is the last load of bricks we need. We can finally head over there and finish everything. I am going to go ahead and start some more because this is going to clear me out. And I do want to have more because I'm going to be using a lot more to finish my base. I am, in fact, using my baby fire ant as a mule, uh, which also kind of means I will be sacrificing my baby fire ant because you will be killed in the fight because you're going to fight because you're going to be with me because I'm not bringing you back. I don't feel like it. So other than all this stuff I'm carrying over there, I do have to get weed stems together. Uh, I do need quite a bit, actually, 195. But I did bring stuff to make a pallet, one of the large pallets. So I'll be able to gather a little quicker. Oh, and we have done it. We have cleared the list. We have got everything built, including these walls, which are doubled up. And for every single one of them, I can jump over so I can come fight the enemies that are stuck on the other side so I don't have to wait for them to bust through just to fight them. We're blocked up. I do have simple staircases on all three of them just to get up top specifically for the mosquitoes. I am going to give it some time for day to come so I can fight this in the daylight which won't be too long. It is already 339. Sun will be up and soon. While I'm waiting for the sun to come up I do need to run over here. Ow. Because I left some meals in here down in this little lab. Ah oh, I forgot there were weed stems down here. I could have used those. Excuse you. All right, well, I thought I left more than one meal down here, but apparently I only left an omelette down here. That's not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it and then I will use it. I have actually just realized I didn't do any special smoothies and I'm not going to. Oh, I also just realized I didn't build spike strips. I'm not going to. You know, we're going to go with it just like this. This has been the most tedious build I've ever done, uh, just because of how many layers and how much is in here. I should have referenced what I did before because I don't remember it taking me this long. And I still have that world where I did this uh, initially. So for this fight, what we are using is scooter grass. I pretty much always keep this on when I'm fighting. Cardio fan, so we can have hyper stamina, stamina and exhaustion recovery. Guard dog, of course, so we can inflict more damage. This is considered a defense event. I am gonna use Mansteria Stranger. This could be a bit of a risk, I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And then Sour Sensation. Sin sensation. Why is that becoming more difficult for me to say every time? And then we are going to be using the Suspicious Mint with the Mint Mace. That's just a great combo. And the reason we're going to stick with pretty much just the Mint Mace is because all the enemies uh, can be 
taken out pretty swiftly with a mitt mace. So we're gonna put that on, we'll go ahead and equip that. I do have the repair tool as usual, and then I did bring a stack of repair glue. So if my armor gets broken, or if my, armor, my uh, weapon gets too damaged, or even if the repair tool gets too damaged and I need to repair it to use it more, we're good to go on that. And right now we're just waiting for the sun to come up. But this fight is pretty much just a long drawn out fight. It's endurance pretty much. So as long as you can keep up with the enemies coming in and you don't allow them to stack up against you, it's relatively easy. And I feel like for the most part, these palisade walls I have in are going to really help in keeping them from stacking up. There's one downfall to using this hammer. Uh, which I never talk about, but it's a downfall every time I use it, is the finale aftershock, because if I'm around my own structures, I will be dealing damage to them. Why aren't you healing? And this guy uh, being around me was a big pain in the butt, trying to build that, because he kept getting underneath my feet and somehow, in some ways, would be above my head. I don't know how that was happening, but I would try to jump and then it wouldn't let me, because you were on my head. It's pretty much daytime. I think that's bright enough for me to get started. It'll brighten up pretty quickly as we get going. I do hope I don't need Wendell because I did not go grab him and I don't want to. He's too far away. <gasps> Please allow me to start it. Okay, good. I do feel like overall the dust mites are the biggest concern because they can slow me down. Uh, other than like the hard hitting Black Ox Beetle because, you know, obviously they can do a, a significant amount of damage. Am I? I am on the right mutation set. Good. Threat detected. Oh, right there. Perfect. So y'all came around the barricades entirely. I knew it was possible, just didn't think it would start with it right away. Why are you stuck up there? Why are you not down here helping me? Wait, why are you on this side attacking? Yo, why is the game not telling me y'all over here attacking my stuff? Ouch, ouch. Oh, did not actually think about the fact that the fireflies slow me down too. Oh, what the? Frick. What just happened? Mosquito. Come on, fight me. Ah, okay. That's not good. Got the first mysterious stranger. Let's see how much damage you do to my own structures. All right, this has been lit up over here for a minute. Hopefully they're not inside. I'll deal with you in a minute. I really don't like having not having quickness on. It makes a really big difference, especially with the dust mites. All right, poor timing for you to come in. Hopefully you stick around long enough to actually do something. Guess not. All right, so we're about halfway done. We're actually not doing bad. I kind of expected to be a little more sweaty than this at this point. Let's see, threat detected. Oh, that's a big bunch of stuff coming in. Ooh. Nice. You're just kind of sitting here. That's nice. I guess you're assessing the situation. All right, so this staircase is completely gone. So far, I haven't even needed to get up there, so that's fine. There's some mosquitoes. Let me get your attention quickly. All right, I'll shoot my own wall. It's interesting that uh, the worker ants are kind of just stopping and staring. I hear something flying. Ouch. You know, I kind of saw that happening and I still walked into it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, shoot. I'm getting distracted. I hear something buzzing right here. It sounds like there's a flying insect stuck, uh, but I can't do anything about it. Oh, okay, take you out quickly. Oh, come on. Ladybird and a Black Hawk Beetle is not the best combination to be fighting at the same time. It seems like I can use one to shield from the other, which is, okay, you moved. Ooh. That hurt. Ah, uh, attacking the far one, I see. We are almost done though. I could probably just sit here and let it finish and they won't reach it in time and then they'll all just disappear. Is there anything else over here attacking? All right, and that's it.
like I know before that started, I was like, this really isn't that bad of a fight. It's just based on endurance because the mixers themselves take a little while to complete. But I was not expecting it to be that. Where were you the whole time? What are you doing here now? Anyways, I wasn't actually expecting it to be that easy. Yeah, so I way over prepared for this. I brought a bunch of repair glue, didn't even need it. But I am going to repair everything here. Same thing as I said before, uh, I just want to have it here for whenever I do New Game Plus. This way I don't have to try and rebuild again. If I ever need this stuff, it'll be easy to come break it down. And they're actually doing some damage on this one right at the end. I wonder if this music just keeps playing until I hit up the spacer. Like, can I just be jamming to this music for the rest of the time? Like, if I never go to the spacer? They really only came from one direction. I mean, I guess two. They never really came through these valleys like I expected them to. I feel like I remember having like a horde of dust mites coming in through here. I mean, it's been so long since I've experienced this. It's possible it's just changed. And obviously the music has stopped, which is unfortunate. Uh, which is, what is fortunate about you not fighting is the fact that you're alive. Uh, so now I don't have to go get another one. I do believe I have to have Wendell to hit up the spacer though. So we're gonna go grab him. And then we're gonna get the first of two endings that you can experience in the game. Follow me, Wendell. Oh, there is a stay here button. I never noticed that. And the whole time I was talking about he was how he was annoying and all that stuff. We are almost at the spacer now. We are about to get big and we are about to experience the bad ending. The first of two endings you can experience in the game. I am going to let this ending cutscene play. For those of you who haven't experienced it and you have actually followed the quest line all the way through correctly, um, it will take you to the good ending first. But if you do this before you kill director schmechter or fight director schmechter you get the bad ending so if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing i am getting close to that 1000 mark and i really appreciate it if you're enjoying my content if you can help push me up there because this will encourage me to make even more videos also feel free to like it those thumbs ups those thumbs ups those thumbs ups do really helps me out and feel free to share it with your friends but until next time i'll see you enjoy the cutscene. And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers called it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. Pete, Max, Willow, and Hoops tried to tell everyone what had happened. But without evidence, no one believed them. No, instead, people heralded Ominent's amazing new invention. A shrinking machine, and everyone learned the name of the one behind it all. Director Dalton Schmechter. It didn't end there. The world found out about me, about the raisining, and I had to disappear and hide away, which meant all I could do was watch as Schmechter took credit for everything that I had achieved. The kids tried to get back to their normal lives as best they could. Burgle has been keeping an eye on them in my stead, joining their science and robotics club. They made him the mascot, but they didn't tell him that part. And I can't help thinking that there was more I could have done with my time in the yard. That said, I have my wife, my family, and I can continue my research, such that it is, trying to make the most of what little time that I have remaining. This is honestly really freaking sad. Yard time, 223 days. Um, the longest time it's taken me to get to the end. Three deaths, three deaths, all avoidable actually. If I wouldn't have tried to push to the Wasp Queen as, or, as soon as I did, we would have been fine as far as not dying to her twice. And then that, death with the black widow that i just experienced the last one where i just wasn't paying attention and i died from venom oh my god that really made me mad okay so we're at 92 percent 
Uh, that's a little bit worse than I thought it was. But of course, uh, we do have to do Schmechter and a few other things that I know of for sure. And then we'll see where we're at. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for watching the cutscene, of course. Um, especially if you've never seen it before. Deuces.